Factsverse presents Man walks into hair salon for a cut in color. Three days later, he's fighting for his life. It was six years ago that a man named David Tyler went into a local hair salon that he'd been visiting for more than a decade to have his hair cut, washed, and colored ahead of a high school reunion. And everything went the same way that it had been going every single month for more than a decade, and he visited with his friends and regulars that had been going to the salon for pretty much the same stretch of time. His hairstylist was the same stylist that he'd been using for quite a while. The only thing that was different was the little bit of color he asked his stylist to add so that he could shave a couple of years off of his 45-year-old age before his reunion. David walked out of the appointment looking and feeling like a brand new man, and he was on his way to a business meeting just three short days later when all of a sudden he lost sensation on the entire right side of his body and collapsed on the floor. An ambulance was called and emergency services were able to reach David in time to get him to the hospital where he received life-saving care in record time. Turns out, he was diagnosed with having had a stroke, but the underlying reasons behind this diagnosis were absolutely astounding, and they might even impact the decisions you make in your life going forward. David still suffers from complications and medical conditions brought on by this stroke and the underlying issues that caused it. So, let's take a little deeper look to help folks avoid this problem moving forward. Everything started at the hair salon that day. When he was prepped for the hair coloring process, his hairstylist had bent his hair backwards under the sink to wash his hair quickly. And this is part and parcel with the hair coloring process and nothing out of the ordinary at all. But for some reason, a blood clot was caused and it built up in his head because of the rotation during the washing process. He didn't know it at the time, but somewhere along the line, while his head was tilted back underneath the sink, a major vein leading up to his brain was pinched off. Blood flow began to slow down on one side of the vein, and on the other, a blood clot built and built and built, and once the dam broke, the pressure forced that blood clot into the brain and caused the stroke that brought David to the ground and eventually to the hospital. After doing a little more research into what had happened on his own, David was stunned to learn that thousands and thousands of people have gone to hairdressers for this exact same kind of process and have also dealt with stroke-like conditions afterwards, just like the one David contended with. And while David has certainly gotten the short end of the stick compared to most of those stories, the term beauty salon stroke syndrome has been in common parlance now ever since 1993 almost 20 years before David had his incident. Doctors recommend that any individual over the age of 40 not tip their head back any more than 15 degrees, especially if they're dealing with underlying medical conditions like arthritis that could shut down blood circulation in the neck or brain. If you're going to be using a sink at a hair salon, it's important that you make sure your stylist provides you with cushions that prop your neck up and prevent you from going past that 15-degree angle. David's life is never going to be the same, but he has made it his life's mission to make sure that people are aware of the dangers of this kind of everyday situation, and he works now as a stroke awareness advocate. Please share this video with others to let them know how to save their lives potentially. Click the like button to help us do that, and if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell.